Hi, my name hi, my name is Balin and I'm gonna be showing you how to make a love band. I called it the love band because it has love hearts, like shapes of love hearts, every um second one. Um you you'll need to have your loom um looking like so it has that space and it ha and the um the the half the flat bit of this circle has to be facing um to um outwards from you so it has to go out that way so let's get started first we're going to be getting a color you could use two colors three colors four colors or rainbow I'm using four colours and that's going to be blue, green, yellow and red. So you put the first band from here to here. So it's going upwards. Then you get your next colour. And from where it was, so it's making an arrow. Then you get the next colour and put it up there. So you're sort of making a zigzag that's so going up and there. Keep doing the zigzag pattern. So it's going across, so it's going across and like that. Um and keep repeating it all the way to the top. In, um I might, you might be a bit faster than me, or I might be a bit faster than you, so you may want to pause it if I'm faster than you, but you can just watch the rest of this if you're, um, if you're speedy, because I'm not that speedy at doing these. I'm halfway through. Don't worry about that noise. Um, I might get another one that feels stretched. That one. So, I've, so I'm still repeating the zigzag pattern. As I said, um, if I'm speedy, then pause it. But um, if you're speedy, just watch the rest of the video. Okay, now when so. See, I'm making a zigzag pattern all the way up to the top. So I'm up to here, right here. I have to go all the way up there. So you get your next colour and put it up towards there. And then you get the blue. Oh, I'm getting my blue one. So this, you start with the same colour that you end in the same colour. This is how it should look at the end. Then you start from the bottom 
do the same but on the other side and copy the colors that color that is right there and you can, and all the way up to the top so you should be making diamond shapes see diamond shapes so you keep repeating this as I said to the all the way to the top so I might be a bit speedy or you might be a bit speedy So I'm halfway through right now. I'm halfway through. I'm three quarters of the way through, just letting you know, so if you want to pause it. Oh, that feels a bit tight. I meant not tight. Um, a bit loose, so it might break. So, it might break. So, you better feel it before you put it on. Okay, as I said before, when you get up to this point, you go all the way to the top. Okay, so push them down just a tiny bit. Then you're going to get the same colour, um, just a different, any, any colour you like. Well, well here I'm going to be picking the colour orange. And then, so... This is how I do it. I, I get the band, I do a figure eight, then put the figure eight on one hand, and then it's like on my finger, and then I roll it off, and then stretch, and I put it on the end of this. So it's got a cap, cap band. This is how your thing should, this is how it should look. See all diamonds. So you're gonna turn your loom around and get your hook. Um, which hook? Ah, oh, I've got. I haven't got the thick hook, the very, very, very thick hook. But I've got sort of a thick hook. But you could use this hook um, or any hook you like. So first. You dig in 
and the get the blue one that's going to the get the blue one on the left go through the cap band hook the blue one on the left and pull it backwards so you're stretching the cap band and you're placing the blue one on the there like that then you get the right blue band well the right band that got the right blue band or whatever color is there and then you oh can't get it off oh, there like that now that's how it should look okay now you get the red band that go through get the red band on the right hook it through hook it onto the band and then get your red one or doesn't matter if it's like this that that like that just means it's just got stuck on some bands but that doesn't matter just don't worry about that and that and then it's got so one it's going well that one's going out and then you get the yellow one here pull it to there and then you get the other yellow one and pull it to there so like that so it goes out, then in, out, then in, and repeat that all the way to the top. So out, and then in. If I take... If you're speedy, just keep watching the video, or if I'm spit speedy, then just pause it. Doesn't matter. So, if it if it's very, it's not that wide, so you push the one that hasn't got stuck, and then it'll make a point shape. Then you get the one and put it inside. Get the one, put it inside, then take the green one, get it outside, get the other green one and get it outside, get the blue one, put it inside, and then just keep repeating that. that so as I said it if it's square just push the one that hasn't got stuck push the side that hasn't got stuck so it's pointy but if they have both got stuck just forget just doesn't it doesn't matter you had just have to try and um whoop If it comes off, you can actually um, just dig. If it comes off, you can actually dig it, pull it through the red thing, red band, and then put it over the top. Oh. And if it comes, you might want to hold the middle thing, one if when you're going out because it might fall off. But it doesn't really usually happen to me. Okay. So you keep, you have you have to do it for the first. You have to do the right one first, then the left one.
You see, mine doesn't have arrows showing to the top, but yours might. It doesn't matter though. Um, okay, I've been halfway through, so I'm like three quarters of the way through now. Just letting you know. Again, mine's got caught to the other band. The other side hasn't, so I can push it over, so it makes the pointy bit. Okay, mine's got caught again. You can tell because the rubber band pushes out slightly. So you can tell that it's just got jammed. And when you hook it over, it's like a square. But when you push the side that hasn't been caught in, it will be like, well, I call it ice creams. <laughs> Looks like ice creams. Okay, Nelly done. Okay, when you get to this stage, so you've gone through, so it's like a butterfly really, a flower, two flowers. Okay, so now up there you put, you fold the that up to there to the top and then that one up to the top too so to finish it off whoops I forgot to do the right one first always remember to do the right one because I, I don't think it works otherwise okay there this is how your sh loom, sh loom band should look up to the top. Now, get your hook. No, actually get another colour that you like. Any colour. It doesn't matter. But I'm picking black. Um, so put your hook through all the bands at the at the end that the at this end. And you put your hook through all of them. Hook it up. Hook so it's Hold, it's, whoops, sometimes you drop it. Got to, then loop, what? Loop it. Wasn't working, loop it. Then, oh. I'll get another band, it keeps breaking. Might be easy if you turn your loom around and then get your hook. Or well, it might be easier to turn it on its side on its side. Because I just can't get my hook through. Used to work. 
Oh, I know why the prob what the problem is. I've gone all the way through. You must make sure it, you go all the way through the bands before you do it. Ah, here we are. Gotcha. Now it's time to pull your loom band off. You might it might help by just um holding holding just pull it off with your fingers. But you must remember to keep keep your black band on there otherwise it will come loose but at first it will look a bit messy but when you when you um actually have a bit of when you actually everything comes off it actually looks really good okay now this is the gonna be the hard bit. So when you've got to the end, those two blue bands are gonna come off. So the blue bands, you pull them out. Those two blue, well, the two bands. So you have got your cat band at the end. And this is how it should look. Now, then, you get, well, actually you keep it on your hook, keep your band, keep your black band on your hook, keep your, the black band on your hook, then you get your loom again, not, um, pick the same colour that you did that's on the hook holding everything together, and then you're going to Place it up. Well, I usually you need five bands. No, actually, you don't need any bands. Whoops, my fault. Um, you don't need to put any bands to attach because it fits just perfectly for anyone, really. So take your hook. Take the hook off. Um. Okay, get your black band. Okay, now, so you use two fingers to make an oval. And, or you could, on the same finger, get a C clip. S clip or C clip, doesn't matter. Hook it onto the black, and then get your cap band. Two fingers again, put it in the space, and then it's jointly, and there you have it. You've got your own love band, and when you look, have a look at it, you can see the love hearts. This is Balin that just made you this um, love band.